Hello, Patriots. Welcome back to VA2A News. I am Robert Hamm, and today I was reporting on location at the Virginia Capitol in Richmond. Today we have three topics to discuss. The first one will be bills that made it from subcommittee from the Senate, which will then be going to a vote on the floor. After that will be Justin Fairfax, Virginia's lieutenant governor, who addressed attendees to today's event about gun control. And finally, we will have interviews from people on location, why they showed up, where they came from, and what they think about the state of affairs in Virginia. Hello friends, if you are enjoying the content, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Those of you that would like to show your appreciation with a cup of coffee for my work, you're welcome to do so through the PayPal link listed below. Let's start off with some great news. Senate Bill 16, the assault firearms classification, as well as high capacity magazine ban, and it also had a bit of the red flag protection order and universal background checks, has been withdrawn by Dick Saslaw with a vote of 9 to yes, 0 to no, in the Judiciary Subcommittee. So it's out. And we're happy for it. You may remember Senate Bill 69. Well, Senate Bill 69 and Senate Bill 22 have been incorporated together at a vote of 14 yes to zero no's. This is the handgun limitation on purchases and allows for one purchase of a handgun a month without special permission. This does have a loophole for law enforcement officers, people that have a particular permit from the state police and concealed permit holders. Anyone else that purchases more than one firearm in a 30-day period will be guilty of a class one misdemeanor, and this now will be going to the floor for a vote. Senate Bill 69 has now become a part of this bill, so this will go together as Senate Bill 22 from here on out. Senate Bill 240 is the Extreme Risk Protection Order, the Red Flag Laws. This bill itself has gone ahead and been passed with a 9 to 5 vote, 9 yes, 5 no's, and this will be going to the Senate floor for a vote. Senate Bill 35 a bill that allows city localities and municipalities to make decisions about whether or not to allow firearms at their event has been passed in the Judicial Subcommittee with a vote of 9 to 5. This will be going to the vote on the floor of the Senate shortly. Just as Senate Bill 22 incorporated Senate Bill 69, Senate Bill 12 incorporates Senate Bill 70. These bills deal with firearm transfers and criminal background checks. Both passed the Judicial Committee with Senate Bill 12 passing 12 to 0. Senate Bill 12, with the incorporated Senate Bill 70, will move forward to a vote on the floor of the Senate. Here's a special bill that no one was really talking about, Senate Bill 13. This is forbidding and banning firearms in Capitol Square. Capitol Square is where I was today. The House already adopted the rules to not allow firearms, concealed weapon permit holders, to carry inside the House buildings or the Pocahontas building. Senate Bill 13, which was actually pre-filed on November 18th, wants to ban firearms in any area from Bank Street to 9th Street all the way in the Capitol Square area, on the grounds, the sidewalks, the adjacent buildings, and the interior. Justin Fairfax, the Lieutenant Governor of Virginia, stopped to address the crowd about gun rights and listen to questions and concerns the citizens have while he was on his way to preside over the Senate. During this time, you'll notice the clips may be a shaky and it can be difficult to hear from time to time. Please forgive that, as the camera was on a selfie pole about five feet over everyone, and there were about 150 people in the small enclave. Justin was actually beneath the enclave, standing on a rock pedipult, addressing everyone. Let's hear what he's got to say. And you guys are respectful. So guys, let's do it in that spirit. Okay, I have gun owners in my own family. All right? We're all in this together. Listen to me. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Hold on. We have multiple bills. Were you yeah. listening? Did you hear me what I said? I didn't hear you what you said. Please You're say it again. You're taking away their protection. That yeah, saves their lives. Yeah. That saves lives. Listen to me. All these things that happen. No, you listen to us. Okay. You work for okay. us. You work okay. for us. I, guys, we, guys. We pay guys, your listen. salary. I, I hope you've noticed by now that I'm not going to be disrespectful. Well, you disrespect I I all to. of us citizens how, by listen. taking away our guns and our rights. I'm not. I You're, you're, you're like impeding on our right to bear arms. Uh, we, we've been going on like this for about yeah. 15 minutes yeah, yeah. now. Do you all, do any of you see a middle ground with what the lieutenant governor is saying? Is there no, any no. middle ground? No. 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 Sure. It's against no. the Constitution. About, uh, I have been saying it, saying it. I can't transfer a gun to my son. Dude, it's not what I'm going to have right now. Sure. Because of the way you guys are stacking these buildings. What? That's saying that my right to have that AR is a 
that was a right to speech sure. privilege and it's no longer a this right to speech. You're saying to your son, you're saying. To my son. Okay. So, this is, no, 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 that, that's actually a voice I believe needs to be heard in this debate, right? You know your son, okay? And you know your family. And you know that you're, I'm saying, I'm, I'm agreeing with you this, all right? Because people expect us to come down here and fight each other and yell at each other. No, 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 no. I, I'm telling you, I'm. They expect us to fight the moms against Oh, you know what? And, 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 no, no, I, I get it. I get it. But you know what? We all also, hold on. Can I just say something? I, I have to go preside over the Senate. I'm working for every single one of you. But let me just say this. You, got, I'm, you guys are surprising the country right now. You're surprising the country because they expected us all to come down here and yell at each other and then get sound bites and tidbits and calling each other names and, and never agreeing on anything. We've already heard two things that we might be able to agree on. Hold on. Uh, we are so, live now, Lieutenant Governor. What is the point you're trying to make in the program? Well, I'm not necessarily trying to make a point. I, I'm just trying to make the point that we can, uh, you know, have discussions. We can be civil. Uh, we can listen to each other. Uh, because, again, what, what people want us to do is to fight and yell and scream and not find any common ground on anything. We can protect the Second Amendment, people's Second Amendment rights, and also protect our communities and our families. And so that's why we're here. And I think, honestly, we are shocking the nation and the world because who would have thought we'd be sitting here talking to each other it has been an extraordinary extraordinary conversation that's been going on for 15 minutes you've heard what the lieutenant governor has said why do you disagree with who would think that we're all standing here actually fighting to protect the america that we grew up in we never thought we would see it come to this where instead of going after the criminals and enforcing the gun laws that you have you want to put it on us knowing that we'll obey these laws and, and the, the, oh, that didn't work, so we're, we'll put more okay. laws on it. We know where we're okay. headed. We're headed for confiscation. You know that. No, uh, that's not that's not at all we, the case. We, but we, let me let me just let go ahead. Please, 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 please. I want them to be heard. I want them to be heard. When they talk about infringing on constitutional rights, what do you, as the leader of the Democrats, what do you say? Because they obviously do not think that's true. No. Well, listen. First of all, it's not they. All right, it's us. We're all Virginians. We can have different points of view, but we're all Virginians. Let me just say this: they are well, you know. Uh, within their rights to be petitioning the government right now, it's what they should be doing. Uh, we should all be protecting all of our constitutional rights. That's the First Amendment, the Second Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, every other amendment. Hold on, hold on. But listen, I'm a former federal prosecutor. I was in the Major Crimes Narcotics Unit at the U.S. Attorney's Office. I have taken bad guys off the street and tried to do harm to all of our families. Okay, they didn't ask what party they were from. They didn't ask any questions. They tried to do us harm. And let me just say this time, but you guys are welcome anytime. Okay, come talk to me here, come see me. Uh, the competition, uh, your government steps here. God bless you. What, 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 where'd you start? Coming up tonight on Wavy News 10, 4, 5, and 6, we'll yes, have more of what happened with the guns on Capitol Hill here. Oh, your people. That's the latest from Richmond. Andy Fox. Tell me you expect us to react? We are the National Guard. Well, hold on, hold on. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? I mean, sir, no. May I? I don't want to interrupt you. You want to wait too far. I've never come to one of these. Can I, can, I, can I tell you something? I don't want to interrupt you, but can I answer your question? Who you interrupting? Can I ask your question? Why would you threaten us? Can I? Let me ask you Just tell me. I don't want to cut you off. First one, I, I appreciate your service very much. I have service members also in my family. We all applaud you and your service. Listen, this may shock you. I disagree with you. I disagree with the idea that National Guard is going to come and get anybody. I disagree with you. Okay. So, so, hold on. It didn't come up from my mouth. Okay. So, I don't think it doesn't matter. You're talking to your lieutenant governor. Well, it matters that I'm. It matters that I'm. It matters that I'm, matters that I'm, matters that I'm standing here right now with you in front of you. Okay. 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 I'm telling you. Hold on. So, so hold on. Can you? you hold on. How, how about we? No, I didn't. I didn't see. It. No, no. I'm saying a real big backtrack because we all know. You have been that. hearing that. We all. Know. No, actually, no. What the governor? Somebody else. Right. Yeah. But, 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 but hold on. Hold on. Can we? As all of us are law-abiding citizens. If these laws do get passed, we are the ones that will follow the law and get arrested and sent to prison no, listen, 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 and end up serving jail time. That's not, we, are, we, are the sec, we are the second arm of the law that helped these guys in uniform protect everybody else. Once we're gone, it's, it's criminal. Guys, 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 a law okay. abiding citizen, a felon, and taking the right to vote and overturn any decisions made. Right. Yeah, well, that's auto. Right. 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 I'm listening. I'm listening. I can, I can hear one at a time. Anybody else? I can hear one at a time. Please. Right. Like this gentleman who was a veteran. Hold on. You just you made a statement, right? You made a statement. About that. Hold on. Hold on. Did, did you not make a statement, right? About the National Guard committing guns. And I told you I disagree with you. That would that would shock a lot of people, right? 
That would shock a lot of people. You wouldn't expect no, me to say that. We think it's uh, okay, okay, but what, oh, okay, so I agree with you. Hold on. So I agree with you. Okay, guys, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta take yes for an answer. Sometimes. Sir, I think the Pentagon would go Virginians. Ask you one thing to go. A lot of Virginians again. Uh, they're gonna, they're gonna make me go presiding. Real quick question: Have, have any yes, of you ever had a conversation with an elected public official like this before? Thing. Oh yeah, yes. yes. uh, yeah. Can I have your word? Hold on, he, yes. he, he wants to speak. Yes. I, just I, 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 he wants to hear. Can I have your word today? Please have your word today. That obviously, reality is, Democrats control both houses. You guys are gonna do what you want. Can I have your word before anything gets shoved down our throat? Yeah. It will be the right way, not ramrodded, not, oh, we got control, we can do what we want. Yeah, because, will it, guys, can I have your word that that will occur? You have my word, and listen, you have my word, and, and I will do everything I can, but this is a key component to us getting this right. Let's talk. Guys, don't fall into the trap. They want us to fight each other. They want, they want to be walk past you, right, to make some snide comment. But you were kind of, but you were kind of, you guys were kind of, guys, we can get this. Right, okay, when I agree with everything, no one agrees with everything. I just won't do it. You've got amazing patience. I'm gonna be, I know, I'm gonna be, God I got two people. God bless you guys. Right. Thank, thank you. God bless you guys. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you, thank you sir. God bless you guys. Yeah, right thank you. God bless you guys. And show you the truth. Come here. God bless you. Really you thank you very much. I appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you for your question. I appreciate you. Hey, let's follow up with that, okay? That's a very real issue. God bless you too. I appreciate you. Boom. God bless you. So I was wrong, something did pop off. Yeah. Billy Flora was a man of color. He was a free man of color and they were a slave. Yep. And he's a patriot. Man, I you hope to God that you will be the same. I appreciate you very much. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. God bless you. Thank you, sir. JMU, thank you. Thank you, man. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, man. God bless you. That's what you are. I know. That's all. Any step. 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 It was definitely an interesting conversation to be a part of. What do you guys think about Justin and his demeanor with the crowd? What do you guys think about the crowd? Leave your comments down below. And finally, let's get into a couple of interviews that I did on location, just speaking with the people that were there. What's your name? My name is Jerry Johnson. Hey, Jerry. How you doing? Good. I see you holding the flag. Yes, so indeed. Uh, What's your name? Bill. Hey, Bill. My dad's name was Bill. Hey, I, I, I didn't get a good nice handshake there. Let me nice find to meet you. Better. I'm, I'm Rob. My name is Glenn Young I'm from New Kent County, and my family has been in Virginia since the early 1700s. Uh, we still maintain the old farmhouse, um, the farm that my great great granddaddy built. Now, are you from Virginia or you come from out of state for this? I am. I live in Mechanicsville, Virginia. Oh, that's right down the road. Right down the road. Nice. I live down in Virginia Beach. So I passed Mechanicsville on the way I've, up. I've met people today that are from your area and west, all over the state. Now, I'm, I'm probably 15 miles east of you. Not so bad. The Democrats have the House, the generals, uh, the Senate, and the, uh, the governorship. They got the votes, too by a good enough margin to make them not really worry too much. So what's the solution? My opinion is people don't vote today. Uh, I think after this, I think I hope you'll have more people coming out and really voting their conscience. I think this is a result of people not voting. Right. Now the Democrats are in and they are, are, are telling... The too. Telling, again. Yes. They're telling everybody what they want. Right. They're not telling people what the American people want. The solution is supporting the, the Constitution right. and letting us have, I mean, these people aren't the bad people. The NRA isn't the problem, you know. It's, uh, well, yeah, you go through the hoops to, to carry legally, purchase properly, right. you're not the bad guy. I think they're going to have yeah. a lot more. Yeah. These guys aren't playing by those rules. So how do you beat them? How do you whoop them when? I'll tell you how. I'd like to know. Don't sit on our ass next time and get out and vote. What's the solution to this? That's the question. People are upset, you know. Thank you for coming. I mean, but what's a good solution? Uh, no, I be in there, be heard. I mean, that's that's what it needs to be right now, is be in there, show your presence, be heard, yeah. while they're trying to pass laws. To have someone, all my family is law-abiding, never had any arrests. Um, my father was in law enforcement for 28 years here in this city. And to think that someone like a Michael Bloomberg with his billions can come in here and basically buy our General Assembly is what he has done. And we've been here all these years 
paying taxes, supporting this great commonwealth, and it seems like they're turning on us. That's the first stuff. Tell me a little bit about your uh, poster. You got this interesting poster oh, um, going on. I came out, I went up to the NRA floor, got my stuff. The guy had a big stack of them and said, here, you want one of these? So I grabbed the poster. <laughs> And this is, it has the VCDL on it, uh -huh. but this is not from the VCDL. Right. They did not put this poster out. Interesting. So that, that point does need to be made. Tell me about what's going on. Well, I think everybody that's here knows that we are now getting our rights to friends to bond. Uh, I myself believe that we're now, this is what we call tyranny of government. <clears throat> that's, how, that's what the Constitution is all about, the whole sure. Constitution. Not just the right to keep and bear arms, but the Constitution is tyranny of government. The tyranny, the government telling it, us, the people, what to do when it's supposed to be reversed. The Mothers Against Violence are here. I've seen maybe a half a dozen. and. There's probably a thousand NRA people here, gun supporters here, Second Amendment people here. And they're pulling people, the mothers against violence, out of line. We stayed, stood in line for a couple of hours. They were pulling them out of line that were behind us and taking them into the General Assembly meeting. There were only 270 some seats available, so of course a lot of us didn't get in but they wanted to show on the local news that it was equal representation, which <clears throat> is very uh, deceitful. We're waiting to get into the, uh -huh. uh, to the Judiciary Committee hearings. Sure. And meanwhile, there are three women came in with yep. red Moms Demand Action t-shirts. They were really? escorted to the front. The state police came and picked up two of them, took them in, and then a little bit later came back and took the third one in. To That's escort fair, right? them directly in. Well, a lot of people <laughs> so raised a little rules. bit of yeah. Uh, yeah, noise about it, if you will. Sure. And the police said, well, it's, you guys have taken up so much of the chamber and they want people on the other side to have <laughs> an equal representation, so we have to come get them. Uh, the main thing I think people ought to understand is just not just gun laws, but all laws, and I'm going to say gun laws, are made for law-abiding people. Criminals do not pay attention to the first law. Right. You know, the law says you can't murder. So, do you think criminals pay attention to what God said? No. No. And they do not pay attention to what the state of Virginia says. So, did they or did they not remove Senate Bill 16? The docket that was posted, it said it was deleted. Uh, SB 16 and 501, I believe it was. Okay. But the other rumor was somebody came out and said they put it back on. Can anybody go to the LIS website and just actually see on the She, just, she just tried and it wasn't it on wasn't the I had the old docket. So I did, couldn't find okay. the new one. Got that was the one I shared on Friday, I believe. Okay. That's the kind of, that's it's happening. We keep going to the meetings and... Yeah, well, I agree with it. Well, it's been good talking with you today. Thank you, sir. I'm going to keep on rolling. God bless you. See. I'll see you around. God bless America. All in all, it was an interesting day at the Capitol. Anytime I go to Richmond, I'm always reminded about how beautiful I think the city is. Friends, before you go, I'd like to remind you to subscribe. I figure you'll like the content if you've made it this far. And I'm Robert Hamm with Virginia Second Amendment News. I'm reporting on your rights. Thank you for watching.